Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we had the distinct pleasure of looking at Iggy Azalea's capsule collection with BH Cosmetics called Totally Plastic. So let's look inside. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> So, the magic, whoa! Are you shocked? Every box comes with your very own Iggy Azalea. Iggy's back on the channel today. Yes. Woo! You can't get rid of me! Mm. I'm the first person to get this, aren't I? You are, yes. Ah! Well, we're gonna get in here and try pretty much everything, but you wanna give them a little overview of what's in here? This collection, Totally Plastics, Totally 2000s, is kind of like in the early 2000s, I was like 12, 13, 14, so I really like would watch a lot of music videos and look up to all these like women like Britney and JLo. So this was kind of like me just going back and saying if I was a teenager, I'm making the collection that I wanted. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that involves colorful eyeshadows, lip glosses, just the fun stuff. Crazy little pops of like pink and stuff like that that I would have loved and still do love, yes. Doodle bear. Yes, Doodle Bear. Do you remember bear. the Doodle Bear? All Look the at the stuff. sticky hands. Sticky hands, God. Tamagotchis. Thinking back, that was so All that gross. stuff. It really was. They were always covered in dust and dirt, gritty, disgusting sh but that then you kept gross. them for so long. Okay, we so didn't. we're being brave on the channel today. Neither of us have any skin makeup on. It's just our own skin with no contour, no nothing. Oh. Not even a brow oh. pencil. I can't even talk to you about these lip glosses. They're so cute. Oh. Do you know how hard I had to fight about getting these to have pom-poms and butterfly charms? I felt like people are gonna steal these. It's your I don't problem. care! I just, I don't know. I think I really care about packaging and buying into the fantasy of it all. Well, you're a drag queen yourself. Nothing has taught us more that Packaging matters. It drag. matters. <laughs> Literally. Like Lisa Frank stationery. Mm -hmm. Like you have like erasers in here. I had a sticker collection book. Did anyone collect stickers when they were a kid, but you didn't actually stick like them on doing, anything? I feel like you're doing stand up. Hey, hey anybody, anybody ever, ever collect, collect stickers, stickers in the audience? audience? <laughs> well, I did. It was amazing. So let's it. get into this. this totally snatched. Totally snatched, Mama. She's totally snatched. Oh, totally plastic. I gotta tell you. I get like secondhand jealousy sometimes when I open really good packaging. Mm -hmm. And when this came, I was like- Were you jealous? I wasn't, I wasn't jealous. I was like, I would have had a heart attack as a kid if this existed. Yes, I would have same. had a heart attack. Same. I really made it for myself still. Like I live for this, but also just like, this is what I would have been begging my mom. Please, 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 could you buy me this? I really wanted everything to be clear. It I makes... think transparency is important. Me too. Look, look at this box, you guys. Oh my Woo! God. That is fierce. Can people buy that? No, right? No. <laughs> Why are you showing them something they can't get? People always want what they can't have. I'm obsessed with this beauty blender. Wait, can I get this out? Brushes. Yeah, thank you. I use beauty blenders to put on contour, actually. You do? Yeah, for my nose. Wait, for my <gasps> There's a mirror. Shape. Well, uh, my mirror. The look how cute this sponge is. It has the little totally plastic laser etched in, in the TP. little heart. It's the total package, folks. Not Put this paper. in there so it can't roll all over your handbag with your dirty, disgusting foundation. Like it also has a venting hole because if this was airtight, that would, would be really disgusting. It would get moldy, disgust. Yeah. And I know that because we took some of my dresses to dry cleaning today and the dry cleaner said that a worm was in one of them. Are you serious? I can't talk about it. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. That is horrific. A worm. A worm? I'm like a bottle of tequila, honey. Oh, this is cute. It's cute. I know the people at home want to watch this. And this is a perfect size because my face is really little. Mm -hmm. So I always find that mirrors are too big and this is nice and small. Oh my me. gosh. <laughs> I too have a tiny head. Talk to the hand because this face is too fierce. It's like you made this for me. I was kind of annoyed. The one thing that I did like f up about is that I forgot to write my shade names on my palettes. So what, they people just have to- They're like, they're online. I'm like, but nobody cares if they're online. But I named this whole palette after Paris Hilton. <gasps> what did, like what, one what, shade was pa Paris is my friend, and then another shade was Tinkerbell. Have you met Paris? Yes, we're I friends. Love Paris. David showed me The Simple Life during COVID. I never seen it. I loved oh. it. Loves it. Loves it. Loves it. Oh, Santa, Santa! This contour palette is getting me together. Thank you for making more than two shades of contour. If you're gonna go your boyfriend or something and go to their house, and then you wake up and you want to pretend like you don't wear makeup on, you could snatch your nose back together with that. Oh, I always wanted to be the person who like puts makeup on and goes back to bed and pretends to sleep and then is like, oh. I used to do that my whole 20s. Now I just don't care. Work. I'm like, this is what you're getting. Wait till your son gets older and starts saying to you when you're out of makeup. Like, like you look bad. 
Yeah. Kids say that. Kids right? do do that. Like, Mom, you look bad. Why when do you look I do bad? wear a different color wig, he looks at me funny, and we'll be like, <laughs> he's gonna be like, I don't like your hair blonde. No. I need you to go back to having the stripper bob on. Back to my wig. Look at this. Oh come on, I gotta hide your. You face. haven't seen the colors yet. Uh, no, I haven't. I knew it. I, well, I peaked. I wanted to do the purples. Is that yeah. okay? Yes, yes, yes. Because I want to do the pinks or the, or maybe the blue. They got. They've got a lot of pigment in them. She's not lying, folks. I tried to like do my palette. So if you're like a boring bitch, you can choose like some of the more neutral shades. Or if you're an interesting bitch, a whore, perhaps even you can just whore it up. Some it's... people are just lazy bitches too. I'm a lazy bitch. Lazy is also valid. Is this like your COVID project? Yeah, I think it's my COVID project. You weren't baking like the gays? No, I mean, I'm baking, but with makeup. Oh, yeah. I'm just baking my face. Baking a loaf of sourdough, ladies. This is the blue, look. Oh, can you see this? <laughs> this one down here, this dark blue, fugly. Cause it's like, ew, that's ugly, but then it's really cute. Cross promotion. <laughs> I'm using the petite one and she can <laughs> she can magnify I that melon over there. <laughs> is this the color I should be putting on right now? Uh, let's be transparent. Iggy's makeup artist is standing over there. And he's going like this. He has a mask on, so I can't tell if he's smiling. His eyes look scared. You should be scared. But you know what? If you guys haven't seen the first time Iggy was on the channel, she did tricks I'm makeup. Okay. And you actually snapped. Thank you. So Iggy on so much getting all over your face. See? <laughs> do you have a primer on? No. Help this woman. I asked her if she wanted it. How do I get this off the bottom? Like that. No, what did you do? I just powder puffed it up. <laughs> it's a great color, but by the way, very Malibu Barbie. Can you get the Malibu okay. Barbie? This is you, Iggy, right now in this Oh color. my god, it is, yeah. The do you baby guys see blue. it? Oh my god, the same color skin. Same. I am the same color skin as Malibu Barbie. You have right the now. same tan as a 1971 Malibu Barbie. We'll just have her in place of Iggy. <laughs> Stop! Stop this madness! Oh, that looks great. Thank you. She's saving it, folks. I'm saving it. I'm doing it on purpose to make you feel better about whatever you're doing at home. Iggy's giving you relatable makeup applications. Mm -hmm. Should I put something underneath my eye? I listen, I love a garage door look, okay. one shadow. If mm -hmm. I was a real person with a real face, I would just do garage doors every day. <laughs> one color, you get one color, that's all you get. And I might blend it out. I clearly don't know how to blend very well. That's why I slayed your makeup last time because it didn't have that much blending. <laughs> it's mainly color blocking. It's a read. It's a read, it's but it's also a compliment. It actually looks pretty good. Hmm, pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> I gotta tell you what happened to me last night. Oh, tell me. Last night I had to go do, a I did a stand-up gig, getting back out there testing material. And, really? Um, yeah, so they do stand-up for a living. I thought oh. most people knew that. And I go to do stand-up and this guy comes and goes after the show, he goes, you were really funny. You should do stand-up. I was like, I should? Should I really? What do you think I'm doing out here? It was just so confusing. David knows him. Really? Yes, I was like. So he's not like a crazy person. No, it was like a friend of ours. He's so weird. Just, I don't think people realize that drag queens on Drag Race do other things besides that. No, I well, don't think Do you know Bella Lacreme? No. 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 She famously like quit Drag Race. People would see her at the airport and be like, "So what do you what do you do now?" She's like, drag? "I still do drag. <laughs> I just don't I do it on RuPaul's Drag Race." I didn't RuPaul's die the next race. day. Yeah, that's weird. People sometimes ask me why I don't do music, and I'm like, that's crazy, because I like just released a song. <laughs> why don't you do music anymore? That's such a read. Yeah. What do you say? I was at my house, and this guy was resurfacing uh, my basketball court, and um, he was like... Relatable. Everybody at home just hates you. Sorry. <laughs> he was resurfacing my basketball court before he built another wing of my home. <laughs> I wanted it to be a certain color. Anyway. The only problem about stand up is. And it just seems like it's a bit depressing, though. Um, well, only when it's not going well. Yeah, there's drunk people sometimes. Oh, oh I've seen this one kick people out of the club. Oh, really? Mama, I'm tour. I kick out probably one person a night. That's kind of fabulous. They come drunk and they're screaming. If it's yeah. a woo girl, that's what happens. Woo! You're out of here. You don't even get two chances. You're yeah. gone. Have you ever kicked okay, people look. out of a show? Okay. No. Like I've had her. things thrown at me before though, definitely. That and was, I don't know if was it was me. thrown like, woo, I don't know. I mean, I like to think it is. They're throwing broken bottles at you screaming, <laughs> I hate you. And you're I've like, never had a do bottle. you love no, me? No, no, never a bottle. People who come to my show drink so hard, they're not letting go of the bottle to throw it at me. I love these really sheer, translucent, like frosty colors. Thank you, me too. Those are my favorite things in all the palettes. Big I Y2K energy. Every palette has a frosty, uh, 
like illuminating type. You know what we should do? We get tattoos on his on his hands and put nails on them, and then he sits behind you and puts the arms around. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, it's me, the clown. Do you play basketball? Nope. <laughs> Work. <laughs> Just the essentials. A basketball court I don't use. What if you want to though? It's good to take pictures on. I've got a ball. Maybe it's Chanel. You know, and it's like, ah, oh, shot. Sure. They make Chanel basketball? Yes! That's why you need a sport court, Trixie. Just for the ball? Yeah. <laughs> you are a chaotic spirit. I am so chaotic. You are. So tonight I'm gonna prank no somebody's way. house. What? My, my prank is you. I, I get my baby's and I smear it under your door handles of your cars, of your luxury vehicles, and then <laughs> you know. <laughs> You're like, I've changed a lot of diapers. <laughs> this is gonna become everybody's problem, okay? I had a lot of access to human <laughs> Oh my God, my son took a <laughs> on the floor the other day. And I was like. David did the same thing. The moral of the story is you can't let them play around after they have a bath. When they're naked still, that's when all this stuff happens. Oh, you were right? asking for, for drama. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like dog poop. <laughs> Because it's, oh my god! Well, you're setting an example with your pranks. Yeah, I have some sick prank ideas. Yeah. We should f up Lisa. We should f Lisa up. Oh, I know a good we should one. should scare the out of her. I know how to scare the out of her. We buy a bunch of feathers oh and we god. steal a swan and we just put the feathers in the pond so she thinks something f ate it. But I was gonna say like a prank call. Oh, uh, well, that too. We could do that. <laughs> you're like, all right. We hogtie Pandora, <laughs> we take her to Costa Rica, and we do a ransom. You have a lash in here. I'm gonna use mm -hmm. it on the bottom eye. Do you know, that is actually the lash that I've been wearing for like the last year now. This is the lash, folks. Yeah, that's the one. Ha ha. Yeah, that looks good. Great top lash, unless mm -hmm. you're full clown. Well, I'm gonna do it as a top. Heard it here, folks, she's a top. A top. All right, I have done my eyes, I have done my lashes, and I'm moving on with my life. Do you have right. a pink shadow palette? Yes. Oh, yes I'm gonna use it as blush. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Oh, is is that against a the rules? Bit innovative. There's no rules to makeup, darling. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I actually really like that. I think our proudest moment naming products was when we named the purple palette Back to the Fuchsia. Back to the Fuchsia is hilarious. I think Eden, who works at Trixie Cosmetics, thought of it, and I was like, "You are so foolish." That's perfect. Somebody that worked for, works on my team, they actually named my all my lip glosses. They have their individual shade names, but they're called Oral Fixation. And I was like, I love that. This one's called, is it 2004 yet? This one's called Sex Cells. Sex Shut does sell. It does sell, let me tell you. You would know? <laughs> I watch you put mascara on with the mirror this close. I have to. <laughs> you look like you take your eye out. No, I'm not. I just don't want to f it up. Oh. My makeup never looks right until the last second, and then it really starts to get fair. Mine doesn't second. look right until I Photoshop myself. <laughs> my nose contours can get aggressive, so I'm going to try to go light. People have told me my nose looks like a, a white worm swimming in brown pudding, <laughs> and I couldn't even. Maybe that's what was I on the dress. I can't even disagree with that. <laughs> oh my god, totally. <laughs> it was just your nose contour. There was some real silk in the closet, so I'm just hoping that they that's weren't. That's what it was. They weren't eating. It was a rich worm. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Tinder bio. <laughs> Hi, Rich Worm. Old Rich Worm. <laughs> Orville Peck drives by my house and rolls down his car window and screams, Hi, bald. Really? Yep. Hi, bald. I kind of love that. Four days after I bought my house, it was on the internet, and I was like, I guess I'm in a gated community, so I will live, but it's sort of scary. But I mean, then again, I'm like, who really wants to come to my house? Like, not that many people. It's been a while since I had a hit, so probably safe. That's not true, strip club. I am the strip club. I am the, the strip club. I am the, the strip club. It's true. People are always doing the robot at the strip club. <gasps> it has shimmer. Oh. Well, I'm ready to put on a gloss, but I haven't even opened these, so what's the color story? The color story is just that happens in the early 2000s. Your golds, your trashy pinks, and then you all know it was all about a clear shimmer with the blue flex. So oh. I thought. It is all about that. Look, this is the oh. sex cells, oh. the pink shimmer. Can you see oh. this? I am kind of obsessed with the gold one as well. Just because I feel like it was all about having metallic lips in the early 2000s, but I don't want those now in 2021. But this is just like a little nod. Look, this one's just the gold. 
and go see. Oh no, I love colors like that. Yeah. I wanted it to feel peachy. I'm looking for the clear with the blue. That's what I wanted. What did you call me? When the gays come to the Iggy shows, are they fun or are they embarrassing? So fun. Okay, good. People come to my shows in like sheer tights and G-strings and stuff and have twerk competitions. <laughs> and a mixture of hot girls and then just like twinky gay guys just out there in thongs too. Oh, literally like, no butt. Yeah. No butt. No butt, just, just like, living. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't need to this have is, a butt. I'm psychic. This is my favorite. Are you psychic? Yes, I can see the future. And in it, I'm very rich. I'm a rich woman. <laughs> oh. Look, I'm obsessed. This is the one I want to put on. It's so important that you have the right wand as well on your gloss. I love an oversized yeah, wand. Yeah, same. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight using a shadow. Is that legal? Yeah, yeah. It is legal. It's really, really pigmented, so it looks really good as a highlight, actually. This is everything to me, this Thank bag. you, I love the jelly bag. Oh, look. I just loved jelly. Oh, <gasps> Trixie! Oh my God, the car air conditioner. You gotta smell it. You it's bubblegum is... flavor. I, I can't believe you called it an air conditioner. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's an air conditioner. It's an air conditioner. Look at these car air conditioners I have. Yeah. It smells like bubblegum. It's bubblegum. What does that have to do with makeup? Nothing. Can you hang it in the dry closet? That lip is great. Oh, thank you, yeah. Well, should we, um, can I put on my, my wig and we'll be right back? Yes, let's. Okay. Okay, this is the final look. Oh, gorgeous. The collection is amazing. Iggy, where can the children buy the Totally Plastic collection? You can buy it right now. It's available at Ulta. If you go in any store, have a big display in them all, you cannot miss it. And you can check it out, play with the shades, see the lip glosses yourself. Or if you know that it's a bit already, you can just buy it online on Ulta.com. Well, I'll see you guys in the Ulta stores. I'm probably gonna get another set for the archives. Thank you guys for watching the video and we'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Two old bitches reminisce about the 2000s. <laughs> Iggy and Trixie, two old sluts. Get a clean one. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah. You just masturbated, but you weren't totally satisfied with that, so now you're here on YouTube what? watching us. It's Trixie and Iggy. It's us. Revealing the Totally Plastic Collection. You it's got Trixie this. and Iggy revealing the Totally Plastic co Collection, and but never revealing our true selves. Do it one more time. <laughs> it's it's Trixie and Iggy. <laughs> it just sounds stupid now. It's us. <laughs> Give me this. Let me take control here. Hi, it's Trixie and Iggy revealing the Totally Plastic Collection. See how easy that can be? <laughs> life, what the hell you were doing? I don't like my life to be easy. I like to make it hard and difficult and complicated.